Rap House Reactions. Today we got Juice World, Stick Talk, Lava Girl, Unreleased. Now, I guess this was never released because he passed away, tragically. But, um, you already know, we are gonna get right into it and, uh, see what's up with it. Yeah, I told you that I'm talking some shit, man. Throwing peas in this bitch, man. Throwing L's in this bitch, man. And we throwing shells in this bitch. I wear my nigga from the know he ain't down to let it spark. I forgot to mention that my bitch got an AR. I got a couple of tools, put you in the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, he freestyled the whole thing. I bet you he freestyled the whole thing. Yo, he's snapping. Bro, this is... Shout out my nephew, Dylan. He uh sent me this joint. He said, you got to react to this joint. And I'm like, wait a minute. You sure lava, girl? He been... I never heard this one, but that's why. This one go in, bro. Juice would have been so big. Yeah, he would. He would have been so big, bro. I mean, he was already big, but he would have been, like, even bigger. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, now we just got a little cut off right there. We had to cut it off for a minute. So, anyway. Yeah, he would have been real big. And he would have, um... He would have really been a star. Like, he was already big. But I think now that you know how they say when artists die, like their music just shoots up and everybody knows who they are. Yeah. Like me being a fan of him before his death and seeing everything that he got to accomplish was really cool and all that. So, but this song goes hard. I like this song a lot. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Soon as you get that, it's like yeah, he poster kid, poster kid post, post two, two kid. kid. Yeah, that's hard. Yo, why is he snapping like that, number one? And number two, this is just the whole vibe. Like, yeah. I love this song. I'm about to add it to my playlist if I can find it in on Apple Music or whatever. Hopefully it's on Apple Music. I bet you it's on SoundCloud. SoundCloud Cause somebody, yeah. some probably, pro somebody probably ripped it from YouTube and uploaded that shit to SoundCloud. <laughs> They ain't running up on us, they probably running from us. I mean, I would to say about that, like, Juice World would always talk about this, like, gang gang shit, but, like, I mean, no, he wouldn't, but, like, kind of. Like, when he's talking about, like, shooting shit, stick talk, like, you know. Juice World was the kind of dude that, like, from what I understand, like, G Herbo found him, and he was the kind of dude that was from a different, like, a, a nice part of town. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm not throwing shade at nobody, I'm just saying, like, y'all don't gotta be, like, this hard rapper all the time you can be like like i know rappers and i talk to rappers that are like the coolest people in the world and they don't even they rap about like normal shit like talking to girls bitches all that you can rap about that type of stuff you know yeah yeah 
Yeah. 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 So, shout out Herbo. So, Herbo, actually, the story behind this, I didn't even know until after he passed. Um, I knew that Bibby had signed him. But what I didn't know was... I didn't know that G Herbo was about to sign him. Really? And then was like, nah, I'm going to give him to Bibby. And then they all ended up, like, doing songs together and shit. But Juice wrote, but, uh... Uh, I think G Herbo found him through like a cousin or whatever mm. that was down there, like through through somebody that they know in Chicago. They're both from Chicago, so mm. that's how they found each other. Yeah. Yo, this so hard. Twenty two bullets leave more than a scar. Shop a hitch at A R da 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 da. Yo, they killing it. I don't even know what I was saying there, but they killing it. They killing it. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Walk. Touch to his chest, got him crib. Walking. All right, yo, kids. I just want to say, young bulls out there, do not go and start practicing crib walking like I did when I was seven. All right? Because that's really not good. That's fucking terrible. So don't do that. Like, don't go practicing crit walking just because you hear, like, Joff and, uh, just because you hear, like, Juice World talking about it or anybody talking about it. Don't do that. Yeah. Shout out G-Money. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, G-Money's one of the Bibby's, Bibby's older brother. Um, or maybe he's like younger brother or something. G money, that's G money. That that's all Herbo. Like he know all that. Like I told you. Mm. Um, so he would always shout them out. And him and uh, Kid Leroy was tight. Really? Yeah, him and Kid Leroy. That was like they they were like close friends because they were like close. Like Juice World was Juice World was twenty one, year younger than me, I think. And what you call it? Was who the killer Roy? The killer Roy was like 16, 17. So it was like big, that was like his big bro, mm -hmm. you know, like they were like brothers and shit like that. So that with that being said, we had to, we got to, today, we had the Juice World, uh, the Unreleased John, Stick Talk, Lava Girl. So now y'all got a taste of that on our reaction channel. Go subscribe, like, comment, share, tweet it out, uh, put it on your Snapchats. All that, but for, but after that, I'm gonna need y'all to follow me at a money six one zero. Follow my man right here at Keon Miles three underscore, and uh, Rap House Reaction, we out. Peace.